and thank you all for being here. And I would ask all of you who are going by, who believe in peace in the world, in peace in this country, join us. It's time we work for peace. It's time all of you shoppers come join us and work for peace. That's what we're all about. Let me just say, as a veteran of the United States military, I learned what war was about. And I say today, and we all say, come join us for peace. My name is Susan Schnall. I'm a veteran of the United States Navy and served two years on active duty in Oakland, California taking care of the military who were wounded in Southeast Asia. Currently, I'm president of the New York City Veterans for Peace chapter, <laughs> and also president of the National Board of Veterans for Peace. We need all of you come join us as veterans or come join us as active members. Thank you for inviting me today to speak at this important commemoration, remembering the lives lost during the last three months of battle in Okinawa. 240,000 people killed, Japanese military forces, American soldiers, sailors, Marines, and most tragically, Okinawans, many of whom were civilians. The end of the Typhoon of Steel, the bloodiest battle of the Pacific War, which ended June 23rd, 1945, involved bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat, outright killing of the civilian population after massive bombing by Americans, and the largest amphibian landing of the Pacific during World War II. Today, we... We, we gather together to honor Okinawa's spirit of peace, of bringing together all those who were mortally wounded in this battle. World War II caused the death of over 60 million people, 60 million human beings. Nearly two-thirds who were killed were civilians. World War II, specifically the Pacific Theater, was for me a very personal war. It was the war in which my father, also an American Marine, was killed on the island of Guam. It was a war I lived my whole life. I never knew my father, except through pictures and letters and others' memories. It was a war that destroyed my mother and her hopes and dreams for the future. We were just one family of one dead soldier. When I watch the news and hear about the casualties of armed fighting, of war, of people of all nationalities, I feel this deep sense of loss for that person for that family, for that child who lost a mother or a father or a sister or a brother. We Americans leave our trail of destruction in over 150 countries across the world. Our corporate greed, our economic imperialism, the militarism of the United States economy knows no bounds. Following World War II, I think as we all know, Japan and Article 9 of its Constitution outlawed war as a means to settle international disputes and banned the maintenance of an armed forces with war potential. History books say that United States forces occupied Okinawa for 27 years until 1972, when it, quote, returned Okinawa to Japan. Returned Okinawa to Japan. 
have returned a people and a culture that rightfully should never have been ruled by Japan. The U.S. controls about 750 bases in at least 80 countries worldwide and spends more on its military than the next 10 countries combined. In 2020, the U.S. had about 170,000 troops deployed in 159 countries. Japan, or more accurately, Okinawa, contains the largest number of U.S. bases in the world. About 80,000, and this is old data now, U.S. troops are stationed in Japan. Since 1960, the United States and Japan have maintained an agreement that allows the U.S. to secretly bring nuclear weapons into Japanese ports. Although Okinawa Prefecture comprises just 0.6% of Japan's total landmass, it contains 70% of the United States bases that are in considered to be in Japan. And so the United States maintains an extraordinary military presence on Okinawa. Two-thirds of U.S. bases in Japan are on Okinawa, on less than 1% of Japan's land. There are 50,000 U.S. military troops, an additional 40,000 dependents 6,000 American civilians attached to the bases. It doesn't sound as though the United States has any intention of leaving anytime soon. The numbers continue to increase. Japan is doubling its spending for defense, for defense. In January 2023, the United States and Japan agreed to increase the number of American troops on Okinawa. Militarization of the islands around Okinawa is ongoing, with Japan self-defense forces increasing daily. Missile bases have been built on two of the smaller islands. The militarization continues. And let's talk about one of the bases. Putina Marine Air Station on Okinawa has been called the most dangerous air station in the world due to its location in the crowded city of Jiwanan. Some 3,000 people live what should be a clear zone around the base. Schools, hospitals, and residential buildings are in the surrounding area. Plans to relocate the air base to Hinoko Bay coastal area are not acceptable and must be stopped. Over 5,800 species of creatures, including 262 endangered species, are confirmed to exist in the waters of the bay. Yanbaro is the forest is nor is the forest northern part of Okinawa and contains some of the last large surviving tracts of subtropical rainforest in Asia, with many endemic species of flora and fauna. It was established as a UNESCO World Heritage Space. Think about it. A World Heritage Spot is being turned into a United States military base. We need to stop it. We need to get a hold of all these folks that go to the library to read, learn about the history, and learn about the history of why we are here today, that we are here for peace. We Veterans for Peace stand in solidarity with the Okinawan people to demand removal 
of these United States bases. Today, I stand before you, an American veteran, the daughter of an American Marine killed in battle for the Pacific in 1944, to commemorate all those who were killed in this last battle of the Pacific War. 100,000 Okinawans, civilians, one quarter of the population, 100,000 Japanese troops, 12,000 American soldiers. We gather together, together in memory of the Battle of Okinawa in World War II, June 23, 1945. We remember those lost in war and pray for peace. We gather together to pass on the lessons of war. Today, we, Okinawans, Japanese, Americans, come together to heal the wounds of war, to walk side by side, hand in hand, for peace, to vow that we will not be silent. We will struggle together for peace and justice in the world. And I say, and we say, no more war. Remove the United States bases from Okinawa. We want peace today. We commemorate peace, and we will continue to work for peace. Thank you all.